If you guys have heard me speak on the Anthony Joshua Otto Wallin performance, you'd have heard me say that essentially, while Anthony Joshua looked great against Otto Wallin, I was questioning whether or not he would be doing the same thing or fighting in the same style if he was in against someone who could punch back hard and knock him out kind of thing. Like if he was in there against someone dangerous, would he take the same approach that he did against Otto Wallin? And my kind of conclusion is probably not. Like he's been with Otto Wallin twice, I think it is, or three times now, and he's done loads of sparring or whatever. So he knew what he was in against. So in my opinion, that led Anthony Joshua to believe in himself that he was secure. He would be able to walk him down and throw them punches and do what he did. And fair play to him, he'd done it and he built his stock back up to the point where people like Paulie Malinaji are looking at that performance and saying, Anthony Joshua is back, he's back to his best. And he believes that off the back of the Otto Wallin performance, Anthony Joshua basically beat down, walk down, intimidate and dominate France Ngannou. He's basically saying that as long as Anthony Joshua can walk France Ngannou down, France Ngannou is a one trick pony and because he's gonna be on the back foot, he's not gonna be able to throw the punch like he wants and it's gonna basically nullify the danger kind of thing and i kind of get what he's saying because even with boxers like if they're not used to fighting on the back foot then you put them on the back foot you give yourself the advantage because they're not as effective as they would be but at the same time francis Ngannou may not be a boxer but it doesn't necessarily mean that anthony josh is going to be able to walk this guy down and put him on the back foot i personally suspect that this fight is going to be more like anthony joshua versus andy Ruiz jr 2 than it's going to be like anthony joshua versus otto Wallin. that's my own personal thing and the whole reason why I believe that is essentially there's danger in front of Anthony Joshua and the whole thing about Anthony Joshua rebuilding and getting back to where he was and the mental pressure and you know needed four fights to get back to whatever that kind of doesn't fit the narrative of AJ being back and AJ being able to suddenly walk down France in Ghana in my opinion AJ may hit him a couple times realize that the guy is not budging and then get on his bike or be on his bike from the beginning because he knows the guy is not going to budge he's a unit I can't see how Anthony Joshua is going to put himself in any sort of line of fire to walk Francis Ngannou down and try and dominate him the way Paulie Manalji believes that he might do. As I say, I personally can't see it. I'm more of the opinion that AJ will box safe. He'll make sure he gets the win and he'll be aware that if he messes up, if he gets hit, if he gets knocked out, then that's kind of career over. That's him being mentioned along the top names being over. It's the whole you lost to a MMA fighter who's only had one fight. See, right now, it's all good Anthony Joshua going in there because Tyson Fury is already been made to look bad against France in Garnu. So now he's kind of got the joker. He's got the upper hand going into that fight. But should Anthony Joshua lose that fight, he's probably not going to be able to come back from that. So there's going to be that pressure there. France in Garnu is a unit. He may not budge when AJ hits him. You put all these together. I just think that AJ is going to box it safe and get a points win. And I think, personally, that's my betting favourite. I think I touched on them the other day, on the odds the other day, that I think it's 6-1 to one for AJ to win on points. And I think that's an outside great little bet there for anyone who thinks along the same sort of lines as I do. But at the end of the day, it's all speculation. I don't know what I'm talking about. Paulie manaji has got a better ride than me. He's been in the ring himself. Maybe he's seen something that I haven't. But his justification for AJ's back and AJ's like at the top of the tree again and he's going to go in there, he's going to do this and do that, was the Otto Wallin performance. And for me... If you're basing your argument based off just that performance there, I think there's an issue with that argument. I think it's a flawed argument because AJ had the chips stacked in his favour purely because he's just physically better, technically he's better, and he knew he was better. He knew he couldn't get hurt. And that was the most important thing for me there is AJ knowing that Otto Wallin can't hurt him. But AJ definitely knows that Francis Ngannou can hurt him, and I think that's going to be the difference. And that's going to be the reason why Anthony Joshua goes in there and boxes safe. And I'm happy to be wrong on this one because being wrong on this one will mean we're going to get a nice exciting fight. You know, a fight worthy of Riyadh season or whatever with the amount of money they're throwing at it. So no one will feel let down. But again, I think that because it's too dangerous, AJ may just decide to box it out. And he is with Ben Davison, who's like a defensive, sound-minded kind of coach. So when you do the maths for me, there's only one outcome and that's AJ boxing the guy. But hopefully I'm wrong because I say we'll get an exciting fight. What do you guys think? How do you guys see it going? Do you see AJ going there mauling him like Paulie Manalji thinks he might be able to do? Do you think he'll dominate him? Do you think he'll walk him back? Do you think he'll use that jab and bust him up? Or do you think he'll just box it safe and outpoint him? Because at the end of the day, AJ can't really lose. If he decides to box France in Garni, it's a guaranteed win. If he tries to walk him back and knock him out, there's a chance that he may get knocked out himself. So I think he's going to take the safe route. But feel free to let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. And I'll catch you on the next one. Love.